Hi, I've been asked to do a series of videos breaking down some of the basic steps in line dance, and so I hope this helps you. Um, I have some people who are brand new to dancing and they're really trying to learn, and I teach in a country bar, and I like to keep it pretty fast paced, so I don't really have time to break the steps down, so they asked me if I would do some videos, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so if you're a new dancer or maybe somebody who just wants to learn to line dance and you're a little intimidated, maybe this will help you. If you're an instructor and you have new people coming in and you also don't have time to break these steps down, feel free to use these videos, whatever. I'm happy to share whatever I have. Um, I will say I am not a professional dancer. I have never been a professional dancer. I've been line dancing for about 12 years. And these videos and the videos I do of my dances are just designed to share with you what helps me best. So hopefully, um, uh, uh, if you're a professional dancer and you're thinking, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Well, she doesn't know. She's just having fun. So, um, three things I want to go over real quick before we get into the actual breaking down of the steps. I think there are three foundational things if you're trying to learn to line dance that you need to think about, you need to understand. The first one is, I think really super important, <clears throat> you need to learn to count to eight. In line dance, almost everything is done in verses of eight, what I call verses of eight. <coughs> Some people call them sets of eight, whatever, it doesn't matter. Eight counts. It, eight is the magic number. We, every time you move your foot, it's going to be a count. So if, on a, if it's a whole count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every time you move, it's a count, okay? So you, eight is the magic number. I want you to think about that. The second thing is kind of what I was just talking about. There's whole counts, and then there's syncopated counts. Whole counts is just a basic, for every count, there's a step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whatever direction you're going, if you're turning, it doesn't matter. Whole counts, one, just one through eight. Then syncopated is a little faster when we get into shuffles and different uh, uh, steps like that. Where you're actually taking three steps in two two counts of two counts. So a, sh a shuffle would be one and two, three and four. So it's a little faster, and so those those are the two different kinds of um, steps. The other thing that is super, super important is the answer to the question, where's your weight? And that is really, really important because if, if your weight's on your left foot, like mine is right now, and your instructor says, step to the left, you can't do it. So you first have to step to the right so that you can step to the left and everybody else is already ahead of you and you're messed up. <clears throat> so I, uh, that, if you can understand one thing in line dance, that would be the, the thing that I would stress. Where's your weight? If your weight's on your left foot, your right foot is the one that's going to be moving. It's going to move forward, it's going to move to the side, it's going to move back, but you're going to be on the right beat and the right foot. So where's your weight is a really important thing in line dance. Okay, so we're going to go into breaking down some of the steps. I hope that this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, whatever, and um, I hope you have a great time dancing. The first set of steps that we're going to work on are uh, triple steps, and some people call those shuffles, and some people call them chasse. It's basically the same thing. People just call it different things. We're going to work on coaster steps and sailor steps. These are super common in all line dances, and they have the same basic format. So these are syncopated steps. So these are all have and counts. A shuffle is one and two. And then we're going to go the other way, three and four, five and six. You're taking a step on that and count. A shuffle can go forward, one and two. A shuffle can go backwards, one and two. We can go to the side, right, left, right. We can go to the other side, left, right, left. So shuffling is really, really a big deal in line dance. When I teach somebody, I tell them, oh, put music on in your house and just shuffle around to get your head used to hearing the beat of the music. Just shuffle. Don't walk around anymore. You get more steps anyway. So just shuffle around. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Shuffling. Hopefully that helps. Then we're going to get
get into coaster steps, and a coaster step is the same um, count or the same uh, syncopation as a shuffle. It's one and two, three and four, and it goes like this. The weight, if you're doing a right coaster step, your weight's on your left foot, you step back with your right, you step back with your left, you're taking your weight, and you step right on, uh, step forward on your right. So it's back, back, forward. If you're doing a left coaster step, it's the same thing, you just start with your left foot. Back, back, forward. And they're usually syncopated. This is one of those steps that can be done in whole counts, but most of the time it's syncopated. One and two. Three and four. Okay, so I'll do it from the side so you can see it. It's back, back, forward. With a left, back, back, forward. Okay, so you stay facing whatever wall you're on for a coaster step. The third one is a sailor step, and um, this is a, a same count, same feel, it's a syncopated step, and this just kind of, all these different steps just give a different uh, look to the dance. It's just a different feel or whatever. So, if you want to do a sailor step, you're wait, we're going to do a right sailor step, weight's on the left, we're going to take the right behind, behind, you step on it, step, good. behind, step, step. The reason they're called sailor steps, if you've ever been on a boat and maybe you had a couple of glasses of wine or something and you're trying to walk, it's whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the drunken sailor step, if you think about it like that. But we're going to go behind step, step. That's the way it is. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So those are sailor steps, and you just have to practice them. If you're brand, brand new, here's how you cheat on all of those. It's called cha-cha-cha. Same rhythm. You'll be on the right foot. Everything will be just fine. But instead of coaster step, you can just do cha-cha-cha. And you end up in the same place. You're on the same. You're on the right beat. It's the same count. It's all good. Okay, so those are the three uh, three and a half, because cha-cha-cha is kind of a cheater step. We went over shuffles, coaster step, and sailor step. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.